Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. Today I'm excited because I'm finally getting around to doing the toolbox uh, tour of my Platinum Series Cornwall Toolbox. This is the number one requested video I get all the time wanting to know what's in the box. So come with me and I'll show you what I got. So the bottom box here is the Cornwall Tools Platinum Series Toolbox. This is the 84 inch uh, long version. They have a, uh, I believe it's a 56 or a 60, 64 inch box, a smaller box basically, which is this box over uh, version of it. This is the largest one they make. And also the top that just came out this year in 2000, at the very end of 2019. So these, the tops are brand new. Uh, before that, they were unavailable. And so I got one of the, uh, one of the first ones in the country here, this particular paint scheme, the silver and blue is a is a kind of a custom color that they brought out, limited it for the first run of these toolboxes. Now you can get them in multiple, I believe like 17, maybe even up there, upwards of 20 different colors. Uh, those like bright neon colors, red, blues, you know, you name it, they got them now. So we'll start with the top drawer here. One of the unique features of this toolbox here is uh, it's been a redesign of the drawer handles. So bef before, if you grab the drawer handle on the corner here and pull, it wouldn't release on the on the opposite side and the drawer would kind of cock. So Cornwall Tools has fixed that and that now they've redesigned the latches. So when you, anywhere you touch it, it uh, releases the latch. So you can pull it from the corner right here and you can see this drawer is full and it slid out with ease with one hand. So the, the drawer slides are, are super nice. The other thing I like about it, one of my favorite features is when you close the drawers, they, it's like closing the uh, door on a Cadillac. You know, it just makes that nice little click. Same, all the drawers are like that. So just super smooth and just the way the action is on it. So like I said, this is the socket drawer. Uh, I still have a lot of sockets still in the, uh, the cases here, uh, but in the future I'll be taking these all out and I'll be using uh, a lot of uh, VIM tool magnetic socket rails, which I have back here in the back. So I, I use a lot of these uh, magnetic socket rails here. And you'll see them on my roll cart too. So these are the uh, the VIM tools. These are all magnetic and uh, super super strong magnets on these, and uh, they really work out well for organizing and getting rid of these cases. So these are all sockets, brand new ones. I haven't. Even I haven't even started using yet here. They're kind of uh, just in here right now. Let's see if I can get this open with one hand. So I, so I basically have the uh, Shorty Chrome and I also have the uh, same thing in the uh, impact sockets. That's what those are. And then these, these are the deep, these are all 3 8 So here, I just picked up some new ones because my old ones are just, just wearing and tearing. I actually thought about doing a giveaway and giving some of these away. I still may do that, so stay tuned for that possibility. Uh, these other sockets here are some socket sets by uh, Motive, X, Motive X Tools that they uh, sent out for me to try, and I, I like them a lot. They're really they're really cool um, sockets and ratchets and extensions. So the quarter inch, three eight, and a half inch here, and then like these are specialty sockets. And, so the next drawer here is my wrench drawer. So I'm an independent automotive technician. Um, I don't specialize in any particular make or model, so I have a large variety of wrenches, as you can see here. And uh, these here are the uh, toolbox widget uh, uh, wrench organizers here. And their newest ones are the 45 degree angle ones, so you can fit the larger one wrenches in there. And uh, it makes it really nice to uh, lay out your wrenches just like that, keep them all organized. Next drawer down is going to be your screwdriver drawer for, or my screwdriver drawer. Uh, another unique thing about this particular toolbox is if you don't, don't like the layup of how the drawers are, the drawers can be moved around. I just left it in the uh, how they came from the factory. So this is my my screwdriver drawer. Got them all laid out here. These are the new VIM. Uh, no, I'm sorry. These are the new toolbox widget. Uh, uh, spacers and organizers here and uh, these back here are by I forget what company those are by they're really nice too just the next drawer down here we have the plier drawer 
So I got my, uh, when I was doing a little bit of fabrication, I got my assortment of vice grips and stuff. And then these are, uh, these are the pliers that I don't use every day. The, the main pliers I use every day are my roll cart. Next drawer down here is kind of a, the uh-oh drawer with the taps, dies, the files, the drill bits, um, and a few little odds and ends tools in here too. Uh, spanner wrench back there. This drawer here is, uh, this is kind of like my brake tool drawer. Uh, these are the, these measure the uh, brake caliper pressure. So if you suspect it, you have a, you know, one caliper is uh, producing more pressure or less pressure than the other one. That's the tool you use, wind back tool. Uh, there's a gear wrench uh, serpent, serpentine belt tool. This is kind of just like a catch-all tools. And as you can see here, axle separators and tie rod and alignment tools over here. This is, uh, this is the soldering and uh, grinding and sandpaper and sanding blocks and uh, that type of stuff in here. In the very bottom here, that's where I keep most of my cases and stuff. So that's if my master fuel injection uh, kit by OTC. Those are quick connects and uh, fan, uh, fan clutch tools. This here is a seal. This is pretty cool. I use this one all the time. It's one of my favorite tools. Like kind of a new pickup here. These are seal installers and removers. Uh, this company is, I believe, it's out of Australia. This here is like a headlight polishing kit. Uh, different assortments of uh, seal, seal and bearing race installers, a Dremel tool. Uh, these are for like punching in the uh, letters and stuff so you can make your own whatever for like cylinder heads and stuff like that. Might as well work our way from the bottom up. So the bottom drawer here, more cases. Uh, this is my ready smoke uh, smoke machine here and this is the adapters. This is a, a fill, uh, OTC a transmission fill kit for filling up uh, different assortments of transmissions. This is a trailer brake testing kit by IPA Tools. This is an electronic uh, 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 connector for testing uh, trailers and hookups and stuff. Down here is an engine setup set, uh, tools, Milwaukee tools and a ball joint press here. And this one here is a caliper wind back tool set, a brand new set and a compression test tester in there hammer drawer nothing special this one here is the power drawer so I got my all uh, tail uh, scanner in here and then all my Milwaukee tools and my uh, jump pack in here flashlights that sort of things the charge ports are all on the side here as USBs and uh, your regular outlets this here is just a good junk drawer you keep keys and stuff in here it's just a thin drawer this top drawer here used to be my diagnostic drawer. I've kind of moved out and this is kind of what's left over. So this drawer, I'll, I'm gonna repurpose and uh, find a new uh, something for it and, get, and you know organize this stuff. And then here's the top hutch here. And uh, the, the locks are all electronic. You just flip the switch, enter a code, pop open. Same thing with the top here. So it has these struts here and it folds up over the top. So when it's down, this is what it looks like. All right. So the top, you can lock the top here. You just lift it up. Now the light inside the hutch light, you can set it for automatic. So when you lift it up, it, uh, it'll just sense that they, uh, there's movement and it'll turn on and off. I like to just leave it on. So there's an on position off and an automatic. I leave it on. So on the side of the box here, I keep my, um, my gear wrench creeper here. And then right below it here is my uh, OTC, uh, what they call it, the hub grappler here. So all your hub pressing tools. I was kind of doing a bearing here the other day. I haven't even put them away yet. 
some of the parts there. Here on the shelf above the, uh, the toolbox are my cases for all my Milwaukee tools. And some of those cases still have tools in them. I have duplicates of some of them. So those, that's what those are all up there. And uh, let's see, what else was up here? I can't remember. Um, my case for my snap-on uh, bandage. And then uh, my, uh, my little lab scope case here. So turning to the left here, we got my first roll cart here. This is gonna be my diag cart, or is my diag cart here. And uh, the top here is kind of just a catch-all. Nothing really special about it. Uh, it's just a Cornwell um, roll cart here. I used to have five of these carts. I used to, instead of having a toolbox, I used to have five of these particular carts right here. And um, so the top drawer here is kind of a, a, a multimeter. This goes to my uh, Altel, my the dongle for the Altel power probe, some test lights, and a quick, a quick scan reader right here. This is probably one of my favorite tools. It's this thing that makes you so much money. This little quick little code reader. Everybody should have one of these in their collection. Next drawer down is kind of a kind of empty and it's going to be a catch-all. This is a, a fuel pressure tester here by uh, by Bosch here. Next drawer down here is my electrical uh, test equipment I use to hook up to different uh, connectors and stuff. Noid lights, uh, terminal, a repainting tool. Uh, this is a um, EVAP, they call it Easy EVAP, or yeah, Easy EVAP uh, fuel adapter here, so you can hook up to uh, to the fuel necks and sm with your smoke machine. Made by Redline, this is a really handy tool. Uh, IPA, this is for uh, using your amp clamp around uh, relays to check uh, amp flow. It's kind of a mess here, but this is my uh, my my uh, Snap-on Varus. Uh, our Vantage uh, our Ultra here, my little U-scope. Um, this is a little pocket scope. This thing is really handy, really cool. It's probably my favorite scope. And this is a four-channel um, scope that's made to work with the uh, Alltel scan tool. That one's a little clunky. I like it, but it is a little clunky. More connectors and stuff for the uh, for the scopes. And the, so I just use these little foam pads here to keep my uh, a test test equipment here and just poke them in there. This is battery charging and uh, and uh, main and maintainers here. So this battery charger maintainer and this here is a battery tester and uh, uh, made by Solar. Both of these are made by Solar and they're they're they work really well. Really happy with those. Down here in the bottom drawer is. <laughs> gloves. I get a lot of glove companies send me gloves, and those are all gloves. And then these are the accessories for the pegboard for the for the to, uh, the hutch. So this is my main roll cart here. So I keep my, the majority of my sockets that I use on a day-to-day -day basis right here on the lid here. And I got these uh, these hood prop uh, tools here holding the top up so it doesn't fall over. Actually, the, the, they're pretty strong. It's never fallen even with the, the hood prop tools uh, removed. But uh, these are the VIM tools magnetic uh, socket holders here. Uh, these work extremely well. They, they hold on really tight and you can actually close the lid and they'll stay vertical on top. Uh, I actually don't know if it'll all clear everything because I actually don't close it. But that's my uh, the main lid here where I keep most of my sockets that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, pry bars go over here, uh, screwdrivers go over here that I use every day. The top drawer here is a wrench drawer here. Um, just my day-to-day -day, uh, wrenches I use every day. These are a metric set. Go all the way up from uh, 7 to 22 there. And these are Milwaukee Tools uh, uh, wrenches here. These are really, really nice wrenches. And then these are mountain wrenches here. And, uh, and, uh, the ratcheting wrenches are about 18 inches long of the longer ones and uh, just a really handy set of wrenches. They do break quite often, so uh, I do warranty a lot of them, but some of my favorite wrenches. Next drawer down is my ratchets and extensions and uh, just most commonly used stuff. So I have it right here in my roll cart. Next drawer down is the plier drawer and this is kind of like the catch-all 
a uh, little organizing tray that has pocket knives and dielectric grease and you name it, it's all in there. And then punches and stuff. Next drawer down is the oil change drawer. So this is all your oil change sockets and stuff. So uh, these are these are European and Asian oil filter adapters for removing oil filters. This is my one of my Milwaukee Tools drawers here. So these are all my power tools from Milwaukee Tools: the high torque, the mid torque, three eighths and uh, half inch drive, the the quarter inch uh, stubby, the half inch stubby, the new long neck or, or extended reach ratchets, the original uh, shorter fuel versions. Here, this is a kind of a catch-all drawer with the. Uh, Brake tools and uh, just common tools they use, service tools, air air trucks and stuff like that. And down here is another power tool drawer here. So these are the only air power tools I have left. Um, all the rest of it converted straight to electric. So these are the new Milwaukee die grinders. I got a couple of those. Here's the original Milwaukee uh, ratchet here. Uh, this is the uh, Milwaukee Tools rivet gun here. This is the extended anvil. This is a tire gun. This is a really cool gun. I need to do a review on it. Um, I've been, I've been uh, working with it for a couple of months now. I really like it a lot. I didn't think I'd like the extended anvil, but it's probably one of my most used ones now. So now I have my new gear wrench tools uh, mobile work table here that I use Every day now, uh, this, this thing is pretty awesome. The only drawback about it is the casters are not lockable. Uh, that would that would be my only uh, gripe about it. But they are changeable, so you could um, you could get some different casters for it. But this thing is really handy. I love the the, the large tray here with the uh, with the divider, so you can store different stuff, bolts, fasteners, that type of things. And over here in the back here is my workbench. It's kind of a mess right now. Uh, I was cleaning off the, the shelf up there. I'm going to paint the walls behind here soon and, uh, and, and figure out what I'm going to do with that shelf. And then, uh, but this table here, I, it, was belong, it was at the body shop originally. And I, uh, it was completely rusty. And I basically I used a die grinder and, and removed all the, uh, the rust and paint. And then I repainted the, the legs and stuff. And, just went to town on it. And then below here is my Cornwell Tools mini refrigerator. So it's just a little mini fridge that I keep here and uh, try to make it a little bit more homey here since we spend so much time at work. And then just my, my workbench here and with my vise here, my Eastwood Tools vise. And uh, that's pretty much it for my collection. We do have a lot more specialty tools on the other side of the shop. For suspension and uh, and diagnosing and stuff but uh that doesn't belong to me that belongs to the shop but this is my my particular collection so i hope you like the toolbox tour i will link up in the description of the video all my organizing tools that i use to organize the box the toolbox and my roll carts so look for those there if you're interested in that i'm brian Nessa from how to automotive i'd like to thank you guys for watching encourage you to subscribe I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this thank you again for watching